Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about The Suicide Squad. And this movie is directed by James Gunn, came out in 2021. I missed it while it was in theaters, but I finally got to see it and I had a blast while watching it. And I liked uh, the characters this time around. I think they're very distinct and the only one I'm kind of iffy on is Harley Quinn out of like the main Suicide Squad characters that we're with. She was the only one I was kind of, eh, sometimes she worked for me, sometimes she didn't. And it's mostly when she was, like, cracking jokes, I was like, just stop. I didn't really find her character funny, but when she was in the action scenes, I thought she was fun to watch. And and Margot Robbie's performance was always fun to watch. And I liked Idris Selva. I thought he was really good. And I liked uh, the idea of his character being to make a weapon out of anything it's not utilized too much in the movie like there are only a, a select a few times where you see that happen but when you do see it it's fun to watch and i do like that this movie has a level of uh, self-awareness i thought that helped out this movie a lot and it made it enjoyable for me and i liked uh, king shark he was kind of funny in the movie Viola Davis's character, she was uh, kind of annoying uh, for a bit, uh, but towards the end of the movie, I start to uh, like her character because <laughs> of what the movie did. I don't want to say too much else uh, because I feel as though that'll spoil the movie, but overall, I did like uh, certain things, and the humor worked for me for the most part, except for Harley Quinn. For the most part, I didn't really find her character to be funny. She was more annoying than funny, and... The action uh, I uh, really enjoyed. It was bloody, it was cheesy and fun, and that's what I wanted. It's an R-rated uh, comic book movie, and it delivers on what you would want. Uh, like, in very specific moments, I like uh, how King Shark just eats people. That's always fun. <laughs> and the climax uh, to the movie, uh, for me personally, was kind of underwhelming. It didn't really leave me satisfied in terms of just action, but that's not to say that it was, like, boring to watch. I just uh, felt as I was missing a little bit of, like, that satisfaction side. It was like, okay, this happened, and it was just, like, any other action scene we could have in the movie. Like, there was one action scene involving Peacemaker towards the end of the movie that I liked a lot better than the actual climax of the movie. And speaking of Peacemaker, I thought uh, he was a, an enjoyable character to watch. I, I did like the constant uh, <laughs> like competition between him and Idris Elba. I found that to be kind of amusing. It reminded me of Legolas and Ghibli in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and that was really enjoyable. And I did like the soundtrack choices uh, for the film. I thought that it made it uh, more fun and... It never felt inappropriate for me. And Pete Davison uh, had like uh, five minutes of screen time and he was kind of funny in the movie. And as an action movie, I was uh, satisfied with uh, what I got. And as a comedy, it uh, works uh, mostly with like visual gags and just uh, cheesy violence. Like that stuff is enough to make me want to watch it again and... If you haven't seen this movie, I would recommend it. It's definitely much better than the first Suicide Squad movie from memory. I don't really remember much about it, but it's not great from memory. I thought the special effects in this movie were much better than a lot of DC movies. And I know this is also a DC movie, but somehow they looked way better in this movie than in a lot of other DC movies. And most of the action, surprisingly, it took place in daytime, whereas a lot of superhero movies, like, some of them took place at night, like in the DC universe, whereas this one took place during the day, and none of it really felt fake for me. And sure, there are some uh, moments that are kind of cheesy when it comes to, like, physics, <laughs> and you could make the argument, oh, that uh, probably can't happen, but I'm willing to be a little bit forgiving because, you know, it's a comic book movie, even if it is kind of taking itself seriously at certain points, but when it's trying to be funny, it's like some things are supposed to be exaggerated, and I was like, okay, I can get behind this, and 
with it being uh, self-aware and knowing what it is, I do think that it helps the movie a lot, like I've said already. And and I do think it's pretty impressive that uh, this movie was able to take a, a bunch of characters I've, I'm not really familiar with, either barely knew or never knew before, and uh, put them in a film that was compelling for me to watch. And I did enjoy it uh, quite a bit. And, and uh, just that alone, I have to give the movie credit for it and definitely check this movie out whenever you get the chance it's a fun movie even if you're not like super big into dc movies if you didn't like the first suicide squad movie i would say check out this suicide squad movie and it's called the suicide squad or the suicide squad whatever you want to call it because this is the good one (laughs) but check it out it's fun and i would definitely watch it again so With all that being said, I'm going to give The Suicide Squad an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of The Suicide Squad and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for May, December. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.